What's going on guys, my name is Eeples Vox and welcome back to another OBS tutorial, Open Broadcaster Software tutorial. It's been quite a while since I've made one of these, I haven't really been sure what to make for them, but quite a few, the original tutorials have actually gotten quite a lot of attention, and you all have given me some ideas for, and questions to answer in tutorials, and one of these I didn't even realize was a thing that people would want a tutorial on, so I'm going to be talking about this idea and explaining it to you right now. Now, there's this thing called global sources. It's a button on your main menus here, and when you add something to a source, you can add global sources. And I did not realize, but it's actually quite possible for people to not realize what this is, and it makes sense. And frankly, I think everybody should know what it is, that way you know what you're getting into, because it will make your life infinitely easier if you use them. Okay, so Basically, your sources, what the sources, quote, sources are for OBS are your input sources for video. Not really including your audio in that, just your video input sources, your video capture devices, things like that. So webcams, capture cards if you're streaming from consoles, or if you have some sort of streaming relay system going in there, it would count that as well, most likely. So... In, in the case of the computer hooked up right now, the global sources I would be worrying about for streaming to something like Twitch or YouTube would be my Logitech webcam and my Elgato capture card. So I'm actually going to start uh, with a new... Well, we'll just make a new scene here. Add scene, tutorial scene. And then we're going to click the global sources button so I can show you what I'm talking about. Now you see I already have two set up, one for my Game Capture HD, one for my webcam. But we can go ahead and add a new one. And then uh, you can add any of these. Now this is basically... it. I'm trying to find a way to explain it that makes it simple to, you know, in general. Okay, so you have... Well, I didn't even realize this. You have all these options. You have a cert you have a set window capture, a set monitor capture, a specific image, image slideshow, text, game capture, or video capture device. Now, if you make one of these, any of these, a global source, it will be a source that you can add and will be with the same configuration and settings in all of your scenes here. So let's add a monitor capture. And this is just going to be main monitor. And it's going to be my main monitor here. We're going to have it to capture the mouse cursor. It's going to be set to monitor 1. All of that. We hit OK. It's recommended to disable arrow. I do not disable arrow, but it will help a lot of you all out with graphical problems. Main monitor, OK. Now in our sources, say we or in our scenes, say we want something to have the monitor in it, and I will actually probably make use of that, so... We'll make a new scene, call it monitor, and then we go to sources and add global source, main monitor. We call it main monitor, good to go. It's already pre-configured with how we wanted it set up. We don't gotta mess with this. Now in most cases, you're not going to be doing this with your monitor so much, but your webcam. So if I preview the stream here, ignore whatever you may see of my face. Hello, I'm over here. Yes, that is delayed. Do not worry, that is intentional. That is delay for the Elgato. You see I have a webcam here. Then I also have a full screen webcam here as well. Now, instead of... At, in order to create something like this, I'm actually going to do a new one here. So we're going to add scene console test. And we're going to add a scene webcam test. Now what a lot of people are doing, and what someone who wouldn't know how to use global sources is doing, is you're going to add, and go into your sources, add video capture device, blah, 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 finding the, and then when it pops up here, oh, it crashed. Sometimes in adding that, if, oh, if you're previewing the stream and you go to add a source to the stream, it's going to crash. I did not think about that. Okay. Add scene, webcam test. And then let's say webcam overlay as one. Then what, like I, said, like I was saying, those who don't know how to use global sources would be going to add video capture device, blah, 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 okay. And then when this window pops up, they're going to choose your webcams, Logitech, and then 
downscale the resolution to 720, add buffering if needed, mess with the audio, this and that. That takes a whole lot of time and can really screw up your streaming if you have things set differently just because you miss a setting or something in different scenes and it could potentially cause your stream to crash or to screw up or anything like that. However, if we go to global sources and add a global source and you can have multiple versions of your webcam if you're going to use be using different ones in different scenes. I'm going to go to add video capture device, name it webcam test, hit OK. Choose the Logitech C920 webcam or whatever webcam you're using. Custom resolution, set it 720p, 30 frames per second. We're not going to use a delay with this one. This one's not going to be for the Elgato. Hit OK. Global source using this device already exists. Okay, so you cannot have... I was wrong. Forgive me, I was wrong. You cannot have multiple global sources with that. But that would be what you were doing. And then you hit, hit OK. And if we go to this webcam source here... Go to properties if you want to change things. I do have the delay set up for my Elgato. You just kind of set how, everything how you want. Hit OK, hit OK. And then every time you want to add it to a scene, be it like one with a little graphical overlay and then one with just the webcam and then one with the console, instead of trying to reconfigure it in every single scene, you just go to add global source webcam and it's there. It's pre-configured, it's set up properly for your scene and you're good to go. Same thing with the Elgato. I do not have it on this stream, but I can probably pull one up here. Give me just a second. Uh, graphics, social media. There's probably a stream. No? No stream template? Really? Okay. Well, I had little stream templates that I had used in the past. But that's fine. I'm going to make something really crappy in Photoshop in like two seconds. So do not make fun of me here. Or Photoshop cannot load, so that's cool too. Okay. Uh, but basically, let's just say... Let's make a, let's go to webcam overlay. It would have, actually on this BRB scene. If I go to preview real quick, it says we will be right back. But let's say you want to stream, you know, you want like just a webcam stream real quick with a graphic that has like your social media link. So it says like YouTube slash Epos Vox, Facebook slash Epos Vox, Twitter slash Epos Vox, whatever. And then you want your webcam layout to be here like kind of just in the corner in this graphic. Then all you would have to do is go to Add, Global Source, Webcam, hit OK, Preview, Edit it so you shrink down your webcam, fit it into your little spot you've made on your graphic here, and you're good to go. You don't have to sit here and change the settings in every single stream file or anything like that. Because again, that would be very time intensive and it would potentially cause compatibility issues that could screw up your stream. Just a kind of time saver thing also for removing compatibility issues because I know a lot of people are having issues with just kind of crashing their streams. Hope it did help some of you guys out. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching this OBS tutorial. This one is a bit longer than the previous ones. I do apologize, but wanted to kind of explain what global sources are. They're basically a source that applies to all your different scenes with the exact same settings, so you don't have to keep making new ones and changing settings. Saves you time, saves you trouble, saves you energy. Yeah. Thank you for watching. See you next time. My name is Ben Evil's Vox. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. My tools keep on breaking away. Logging every day